Okay, so you probably heard that you can't get sunburned on a cloudy day, right? So you spend the day in the sun. Mm -hmm. Don't bother with a sunscreen, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you are red as a lobster. Mm -mm -mm. That's because those UV rays from the sun go right through the clouds. In fact, some doctors say some of the worst sunburns they've seen have come from patients who failed to use sunscreen on a cloudy day. Here are a few more facts behind some other popular summer myths. To stay healthy the rest of the summer, make sure you know the facts. First myth, a base tan prevents sunburn. Mm. There's no such thing as a base tan. Any sun exposure damages the skin. I spray down with sunscreen all over the place. I wear 100. Can ocean water heal a cut? Mm. Ocean water is full of microorganisms. Sand, dirty water, and soil can all cause infection. Instead, use a sterile saline solution or bottled water. And you may have heard for a jellyfish sting. You're going to have to pee on it. But it could actually make the pain worse. Salt water deactivates the venom, but the salt in urine is unpredictable and could cause venom to be released if it's too dilute. Try ocean water instead. And that's something we don't want to see on the beach anyway. <laughs> Another myth that any drink can hydrate you. Experts say certain beverages have a diuretic effect, which can lead to dehydration. You'll want to be careful with caffeine consumption, alcohol beverages, and drinks high in sugar, such as soda and fruit drinks. They can also lead to dehydration. Instead, choose water, low-fat milk, 100% fruit juices, low-sodium vegetable juices, and herbal teas to help with hydration. So just because it's wet doesn't mean it's going to hydrate mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah. And if we're not careful, the summertime heat can, in the sun, can really take a toll on our health. That goes for women and men. Yeah, and these, even as we head into September, we're ushering in the fall. A lot of people are going to begin to realize the damage the sun did leave behind. There are ways to correct it, though. Delmarva Life's Brian Spiros is at the office of Dr. Robert J. Davis in Salisbury. Brian, enlighten us. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, sun damage here on Delmarva to the skin is common because of all the time we spend outdoors, but there are ways you can fix that. And joining me now to talk all about it is Rebecca Ospital, who is a physician assistant here in the office. So the first thing we're going to talk about are two items, vitamin A and vitamin C. They have a lot of benefits for the skin. Tell us. Absolutely. Vitamin A is our retinol product. And when applying that on your face as a topical cream, it helps with fine lines, tone and texture, so you have a smoother, plumper skin. Secondly, our vitamin C is another cream or a gel that when you apply to your skin is an antioxidant, so it helps to repair some sun damage, restore some collagen, plump and tighten the skin to help with even pores and scarring and just making your all over skin look more healthy with a glow. All right, and you actually have some here you're going to put on just to show sort of how it goes on I do. very simply. This, this is the vitamin A. This is our vitamin A, comes in a cream, and you it just will just rub it right rub in. Right there. in. And this is our vitamin C. And boom, it's already in. You don't even just know. Just another one. It's already in. There you go. No and how texture, often no should tone. people be putting this on? They are once a day creams. Typically a vitamin A would be put on in the evening while your body's repairing while sleeping. Vitamin C is done in the morning. If you feel like you want all-in-one, we have an option. We have an all-in-one cream you can do once a day. All right, Make and I see it doesn't even feel greasy. I mean, it's rubbed right into the skin. Doesn't My burn. left hand is going to look great it's after this with all that vitamin A and C <laughs> on there. Something else I want to talk about, too, chemical peels. People have probably heard of them and may get, you know, scared just hearing chemical peel. What exactly is it, and what does it do to your face or to wherever you're treating on the body? A chemical peel is a little bit more of an aggressive option for you to help start to resurface your skin. It's a solution we apply to your face that will take off that outer layer of the dry skin to help promote, again, decrease in fine lines and wrinkles, help reduce acne scarring, brown pigmentation, all over skin health. Plus, once you've done the chemical peel, any products like the vitamin A and C will penetrate and absorb much easier. And we should mention that when doing the chemical peel, it's painless. It is a painless application. You lay in the chair, we paint the face with the solution. It's kind of almost a day at the spa. Um, and, you know, and, and we should mention while it is painless, your face does go through some noticeable changes the days following. What happens to the face after a chemical peel? After the chemical peel that day, you might just be a little bit glowy, shiny, a little pink, maybe a little yellow, depending if we use retinol. However, the next day, you look great. You can go back to work, maintain your normal life. It's that 48 hours later, the peeling starts to happen. You can expect a little flaking around the mouth, and it can work out to the hairline, depending on the peel we choose for the type of skin that we're treating. Depends on how long you peel for, so anywhere from two to five days. And you said Thursdays are the most popular day yes. to get the chemical peels. Yeah, Thursday, you go back to work Friday, you recover on the weekend, you're back to work on Monday. 
All right, obviously a lot of benefits with that as well. Um, we should mention we're talking about the face, but the sun does damage to other parts of the body. What other parts of the body can you treat with some of the stuff we've just talked about? We should always include and never ignore the neck, the chest area, the decolletage, the shoulders, and even the back of the hands. So anytime that we discuss in office about the face, we will need to mention those parts as well. Um, let's talk about over-the-counter products. There are so many of them. What are some key ingredients you pe that you find people should be looking for in over-the-counter products, and how do they work based on the things that you'd find at a professional level like here. Retinol is probably our main ingredient that we tell people to look for. Zinc oxide, titanium dioxide for your sun screens. These are ingredients you can find over the counter. When you start to buy medical grade products like in our office, you get a higher degree of that product, almost a prescription strength, so your change is much more noticeable. And in fact, I tell most of my patients, two to four weeks, you'll be able to see a difference. Wow. And then the other thing too, you know, our skin, it's the first thing people notice. We're stuck with it forever. Uh, what should people be doing year round when it comes to the treatment of their skin? Not just necessarily in the summertime. That's right. One thing, sunscreen, your SPF, 365 days a year. Before you walk out that door in the morning, throw a moisturizer or makeup, we need to have sunscreen on. 15 or 30 is perfect. This will prevent future sun damage, but also if we start to invest in topical creams and chemical peels, it will protect your skin as well. And the other thing too we should mention is obviously the earlier you take care of your skin, the better it will look as you age. Absolutely. This is an, this is an investment in your skin for now and for your future. All right, Rebecca, a lot of great information. Thank you very Thank much. You, Pay attention to the skin, yes. moral of this story. And of course, if you would like more information on the office of Dr. Robert J. Davis, all you have to do is go to our website, delmarvelife.com, and click on the show tab. Jimmy and Lisa, I can't wait to come back and show you how good my <laughs> left hand looks with all the vitamin A and C. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, yeah. you better not come back looking 10 years younger. Oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> that'd be bad. Well, so to come on Del Marvel Life, a lot of us take the tranquility and the beauty of Delmarva mm. for granted, but for others, it's a perfect place to come and find inspiration. That's true for an author who's new to the peninsula after living throughout the country, how her new environment is proving to be beneficial. Plus, she knows all about fashion and fame. We speak with basketball wife and reality TV star Lala Anthony. She tells us how you can put your best foot forward. She also weighs in on her best bud, Kim Kardashian's new bundle of joy, and yes, Lala's seen the baby. Delmarva Life will be right back.